Hey everyone, welcome back to Margie's Crafty Corner. We are here to do a requested video. I have this binder here, and then here is patterns that I have uh, printed out. And we are going to organize them, or I'm going to show you how I organize them, the different categories. And what I have already done was that I went ahead and printed out a piece of paper with the different um, categories. And I've already put these little tabs on these. And I've got these um, in the order that um, that I wanted them to be in the book. And so I so thought we would go through together and go by section by section and put the patterns in the book by their, um, in their perspective uh, categories. So, I'm going to set this over here, because the first thing that I want to have um, in my binder, and I'm not going to have it in its own little separate um, category or anything, um, is these first two um, sheets, well, actually, there's a total of four sheets. Um, but these two uh, sheet protectors, because um, they're the reference um, guides. Um, this one is um, on crochet blanket sizes, and it gives you some sizes except for uh, for baby. Um, the different, and I think depending on. Um, the size that you want to make it for, um, children, teen, adults, whether you want to do it, do it as a lap gown, small, medium, or large throw, um, for, um, for bed, with drape, um, mattress size, um, the cri uh, crib size, twin, twin, double, queen or king so if you want it with drape there then these are the measurements but if you just want it to fit the width of the mattresses then it gives you the mattress size and then here's just another um, chart as well basically kind of the same thing as this but not broken down as well as much it's just um another guide that i had gotten so i'll put that in there and then this is just another size uh sizing chart um and i think to uh show the different uh reference as far as uh, whether it's a US or UK or stuff like that and then on this side this one goes by their age and then international Korea then the height and the weight just you know I mean? so if you're making something for a child then you can be able to um, know anything the different uh, conversion okay so the first section we're going to do here is for my Tunisian crochet patterns I'm just lumping right now just lumping all of my uh, patterns that are Tunisian crochet um, doesn't matter what what it is. If it's a uh, Tunisian crochet, it's all going to get in and lumped in into this section. 
Um, eventually, so if I might do a separate binder strictly for Tunisian, um, and then break that one down. Um, but I haven't quite decided yet on that one. So I'm going to put that page in there. So this one is a Tunisian pattern because it says so right there. So I know that one's a Tunisian. Okay. So, and I think that is the only Tunisian uh, written pattern that I have out so far. So, um, the next one, next section is going to be blankets. So I'm going to put that div section divider in there. And blankets can be um, lap gans. Um, any type of, if it's a blanket, whether it's a throw blanket, lap, lap gan, whatever, it doesn't matter as long as it falls into that category as blankets. So that's an Afghan. That one's a blanket. Oops. And this is a blanket, even though it's for the, the doggies or the kitties, it's still a blanket. And this is a blanket, even though it's a mosaic, it's still considered a blanket. And this one's a blanket. And this is a baby Afghan. So I'm going to put that, um, I'm not separating um, out and stuff if it's a baby blanket or whatever i'm not separating those out at least not now okay this is a mug rug so that needs to go in a different category okay this is another baby afghan so i'm gonna include that in here with all of the blankets as well okay this is a c to c scallop border but it, this is a border to use on, hmm, you could use that border. I might put this in, in a different section as well. Okay, so it looks like, we're ready for the next sec section. Okay, the next section is going to be shawls. So I'll go ahead and oh. go ahead and put that in there. So this is a um, a wrap, which is still considered a a shawl so that'll go in there and that's a shawl that's a shawl and this is called a shawlette which is still um a shawl it's just sh shorter count my blessing shawl This is um, the boho uh, scrub, which is still um, part of a, um, a, sh a shawl. Um, this is a, a poncho. I'm still going to put it in with the shawls because it's still kind of, to me, in that same uh, category. Okay, this is the granny pine shawl. And, uh, 
and it's it also has the the bandana also as part of that pattern so i'm gonna just put it all in this one section um this is the love hug prayer shawl time in a bottle shawl okay so the next section is going to be hats and headbands so this is a hat This is a headband. And this is also headband. Okay. The cows. I might go back and put the cow in with the, the shawl here's a hit um these are for hair ties so those also go in with the headband okay my next section is going to be for kitchen sets so so i had one back here that would go and with that, and that's this easy winter mug rug. And then okay, we have this one, which is a, a dish rag. I feel like I have two. Yes, I do. Okay, and these are little, uh, my little posy sachet air freshener. Now I'm put that in with the kitchen set. Okay, these are Daisy um, card holders. Um, easy springtime dish cloth, um, round coasters, um, bobble uh, edge, uh, dish mat, so that'll go in there. Okay, then the next section section will be tops so that will be the summer fan lace top and that and the next one will be this roll on top summer card uh cardi cottage cardi Okay. Next section is baby clothes. So there's these baby dresses, baby hats. It's better for preemie hats. There's another pattern for baby dresses. And then I have a section here for little friends, which would be like, like this uh, flip-flop sock monkey or any type of uh, amigurumi. And then the last section is squares and miscellaneous. which will be like the simple Daisy Granny Square. Um, quick and easy crochet rows. 
um, double popcorn bright floral block. A uh, heart at the center granny square. And this is where I'm going to also put the C to C scallop border. And I'm also going to put the my little pattern, uh, little posy sachet air fresheners in that section as well. And for these two, the cows, I think I'm going to add those. in with the section no what section maybe i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to add it in here with um in here with the hats, headbands that I'm, and I might also include, um, um, in here because I don't have a section for scarves, so I might include scarves in with the with the hats and headbands i just now thought about that i don't have any um scarves or um in here So that is my binder, my binder so far. And then on the outside, I just put in a sheet of uh, regular notebook paper that says uh, crochet patterns. So I've got that in here. Um, I might later on kind of do something using my uh, Cricut machine and um, make this look a little more fancy. I still need to put something and label the spine of my binder. So when I have it standing up on a shelf or something, then I can see exactly what it is. But, but yeah. That is how I have uh, my binder um, organized. Um, if I move my tabs over just a little bit, I can probably get one more tab on there. And I can have a section there for um, and put um, scarves and um cows so um so yeah so that's how i have uh organized my patterns so um so yeah um if you have any suggestions or ideas or anything that um to where i can um maybe organize it a little bit better or um classify the different categories a different way um just um in the comments below just uh put that in there and um and yeah um so um, i hope you enjoyed this video
please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please, uh, please do so. And if you do, um, click on the notification bell. And, uh, and um, make sure that it's completely solid. That way you'll be notified of uh, when I upload any and all videos. And um, and you'll also be notified of when I go live, which is every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. And um, you'll also be notified um, whenever I post anything to my community tab. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, joining me. And um, please share, share me out. It sure will help. And I will see you guys in the next video or on my life. Thank you, everybody. Love you. God bless. Stay safe. Love one another. But most importantly, love yourself. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.